last line. Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn the fourth chapter of Max Second, that is constructions of triangles. Dear students, in the previous class, we learned how to construct the triangles when its all three sides are given, right? Or how to construct the triangles when its base and adjacent angles are, are given or when the two sides and included angle is given then how to construct the triangle as well as we learn how to construct a right angle triangle when its a hypotenuse and one side is given in this video we are going to learn how to construct a triangle to construct a triangle when its base and angle adjacent to the base the sum of lengths of remaining two sides is given. Then how to construct the triangle that we will see in this video. Okay. So let's see. Dear okay, students, before constructing the triangle, it should be clear to you how to draw the perpendicular bisector. Okay. So let's recall how to draw the perpendicular bisector. So here we have the segment AD. We have to draw its perpendicular bisector. Okay, so to draw the perpendicular bisector of any segment, take the radius more than half. Okay, so here what is the distance AB is given? Take the radius more than half of segment A. Okay, then draw the one arc upside to the segment and one should be downside. Don't change that radius and now keep the compass at point B. Okay. And intersect the arcs which we have drawn. Okay. Now here it is not intersecting, so we will increase it even in more. Okay. Now this intersecting arc will join them with the help of ruler. So let's construct the triangle. Here we have the question. Construct triangle PQR in which QR is equal to 4.2 cm, angle Q is equal to 40 degree and PQ plus PR is equal to 8.5 cm. Okay. So dear students, here first of all we have to draw the rough figure triangle PQR. Okay. So its base is given 4.2. So this QR is the base which is of 4.2 okay then angle Q is of 40 degree okay and on this ray we will take one extra point T okay now let's draw the triangle so first we will draw the here base of 4.2 cm Okay, so here we draw the segment of 4.2 cm. Let's give the name Q R. Okay, now we'll measure the angle Q of 40 degree. Okay, so keep the protector on the point Q. Measure the angle of 40 degree. Okay, here is 40. So let's mark this. Now we'll draw the ray from this point Q. Okay. Now on this ray we'll take point T. One extra point will take T. Okay. So at what distance we'll take that? 
so here what is the sum of these two remaining sides is given that uh, distance we have to take okay so now let's take the radius of 8.5 cm in a compass Keep the compass at point Q and draw the arc. Okay, this is our point T. Right now, here on this ray, we have to take the point P. But from point Q, it is at what distance that we don't know because we are given with the sum of PQ and PR, which is of 8.5. Okay, now here. We have to take the point P in between Q and T such that QP plus PT should be the 8.5. It means that here whatever is the length of PT will be the PR. Okay. So here for that we will draw the first we will draw the segment TR. So here we have to join this with the dotted line okay now here we have to look at the point T that's why we will draw the perpendicular bisector of this TR so how to draw the perpendicular bisector already we have studied that in the starting so here take this distance TR more than half and draw the arc ok don't change that radius now we will keep the compass at point T and intersect these arcs ok now we will join this intersecting arcs with the help of ruler that line also we will draw with the dotted line because this is not in our triangle that's why ok so we have drawn the perpendicular bisector of this TR ok now here as we said that PT is equal to PR because here this PQ plus PQ plus PT is equal to we took that 8.5 ok it means that here PR is equal to PT ok that's why here we drawn the perpendicular bisector and we are knowing that the point on this perpendicular bisector every point on this perpendicular bisector is equidistance from its end points ok so here where this perpendicular bisector is intersecting to this ray QT that is our point P. Okay, so let's join this P and R. Okay, okay. Now here, these are equal. So in this way, we got the triangle PQR. Okay, let's write down the measures. Okay. Now, if you want to check whether this triangle is correct or not, for that, what we'll do? We'll measure the PQ. And PR. Okay, so let's see here. This PQ we are getting near about 5.1. Okay. And this is getting 3.4. Okay, so here we are getting PQ plus PR so PQ was 5.1 and this one 3.4 okay so here we get it 8.5 okay it means that what figure we have drawn that is correct okay let's see one more example construct triangle ABC in which BC is equal to 3.2 cm, angle ACB is equal to 45 degree and perimeter of triangle ABC is 
10 cm okay so dear students in this question instead of giving the sum of two remaining sides we are given with the perimeter okay base is given angle is given and perimeter is given okay so first of all we have to find out the sum of two remaining sides okay so here perimeter of triangle we are knowing that perimeter of triangle is equal to sum of its all three sides okay so perimeter of triangle abc is equal to ab plus bc plus ac okay so perimeter is given 10 ab we don't know bc is given 3.2 cm and ac that also we don't know okay so let's transfer this 3.2 to LHS. So as it is plus it will be minus and 10 minus 3.2 will get 6.8. So in this way we will get the sum of two remaining sides that is AB plus AC is equal to 6.8. Okay. So now we have the sum of two remaining sides. Base is given and adjacent angle is also given. Okay. So let's draw the rough figure. So dear student here I have drawn the rough figure. So here BC is the base in which angle C, so we will take angle C this side, uh, this angle C is of 45 degree, okay. Now let's construct the triangle. So here also from this angle C, we will draw a ray, okay. So dear students keep it in the mind where we, have, we are given the angle, from that vertex only we have to draw the ray, okay. So let's first draw the base BC of 3.2 cm. Okay. So this is our segment BC of 3.2 cm. Now we will draw the angle 45 degree. Angle of 45 degree. So let's keep the protector at vertex C and 45 degree. So this is 40. After that, these five lines. Okay. So this is our angle of 45 degree. Let's draw this ray. Now, on this ray, we will take the extra point D. At what distance we will take? We will take it at the distance of 6.8 from the point C. So, let us take the radius of 6.8 in the compass. our point D. Okay. Now what we will do? We will draw the segment BD. So that we have to draw with the dotted line. Okay. Now here we will draw the perpendicular bisector of BD. Okay. We will draw the perpendicular bisector of BD so that we will get AB is equal to AD because we took the sum of this this side. Okay. So let us draw the perpendicular bisector of BD. Take the radius more than half of BD. Draw that. Okay. Don't change it. Keep it on point D. draw this perpendicular bisector so this also we have to draw with the dotted line okay so we go 
toward the perpendicular bisector of BD. Where this perpendicular bisector intersect this uh, ray CD, that is our point A. You can see here, this is our point A. Okay. Now let's join the A and B with the help of ruler to get the triangle ABC. Okay. So dear students, in this way we got the triangle ABC. Let's write down the measure. Okay. So in this way we got the triangle uh, ABC. And if you want to check our triangle is correct or not, so for that what we'll do? We'll measure the here we'll measure the segment AC plus AB. If this AC plus AB will get 6.8, it means our figure is correct. Okay, so I hope it's clear to you how to construct the triangle when the base is given, then one of the adjacent angle and sum of two remaining sides are given, then how to construct the triangle, I hope it's clear to you. Okay, thank you.